Guys, welcome to episode 2 of Crimson Dragon. I hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play so far. Alright, so we're gonna get right into this. Um, going into Coral Lake East. Uh, yeah. We've gotten a report of a White Reaver sighting at the lake region nearby. Command is concerned it may have transmitted Crimson Scale to the local wildlife. Go have a look. And if there are any infected creatures, take them out. We can't risk another pandemic. Take no damage. Okay. Being me being MLG Crimson Dragon, I think we all know I can get this no damage thing down without a, a problem. You know. You, you, you'd buy them. Alright, so, let's do this. This is definitely a weird game, by the way. There's a lot of monsters out here. Are these teammates? No, I don't have any teammates. I don't like teammates. With a recent outbreak elsewhere, we can't risk these things spreading the virus. No big deal. Oh sh! I took damage. It's already done. Mission failed. <laughs> He didn't die, I put as many I do not understand this game. This game is way too hard for God. Take no damage.
drive the native creatures of Draco into a frenzy. Even a minor pest can become a huge threat if infected. Be careful out there. MLG Cal, coming in the house here, can really change up the game. Ah! No, 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 no! I gotta be. Much better than Jovan, yeah. Alright, alright, that was, that was MLG, you know. The Crimson Scale pandemic ended long before I was even born. Minor outbreaks were a constant danger on Draco. Most of the infected die a quick death. They're the lucky ones. There are those the infection doesn't claim. They survive the sickness living, if it can really be called that, in a sickly, weakened state, marked with the scaly lesions that gave the disease its name, never truly recovering from the ravaging effects of the virus. And then there are those like me, the Dragon Riders of Icarus Division. I was just a child when Crimson Scales struck my village. I could only watch, helpless, as my entire village succumbed to it, one by one, until I was alone. But the fever passed quickly for me. I woke stronger than ever, and found I was able to commune with the dragons that ruled Draco's skies. It was then my destiny was written. She was hot before that, okay, you know, you guys could tell, and then she just, she turned weird, you know. <laughs> it's like, um, you, you were sexy before, but, uh, yeah. Nice work out there, kid. Maybe you're not as helpless as you look. Look, I know you didn't choose this life. None of us did. The fact is, Draco doesn't want us here. Every creature on this planet, from the biggest dragon to the smallest, wants us gone. But you, me, and the rest of Icarus Division are the last hope for this little slice of humanity. And we're not going anywhere. Your abilities give you a chance at survival. But you need to work with your dragon if you want to up your odds. The dragons are truly incredible. They grow fast and learn even faster, depending on the amount of battle experience they gain. But their real power comes from their ability to adapt. Feed your dragon a sample of a creature you've encountered, and they'll evolve new abilities. Our researchers at the capital think this allows them to adapt to a variety of habitats. Some riders go for increased offensive power, others for a strong defense. Just pay attention to your dragon, and it'll let you know what it needs. In any case, I'm expecting great things from you. Just make sure you don't let me down. Oh, I let you down already, baby. Okay. Let's go feed our, our dragon that sounds good. I leveled up. I'm kind of a big deal now. You know, you don't have enough fucking credits. Eh. You really with that?
Alright. That, that was fun. You know? Oh my lord, look at all the mission. I don't need no training. Anyway, I thought I w What mission am I supposed to do? Complete advanced fight training to unlock it. Looks like I'm in. From time to time, you may find. Fuck you, bitch. advanced fighter training you know <laughs> <All right. coughs> your wingman is flying behind you try calling them forward um. what's up homie what's up homie G On their own. If they're in front, they'll attack forward. If they're in back, they'll attack behind you. Oh, sir, I was looking at her. Very nice. When enemies come at you from behind, order your wingman to watch your back. Fuck you, Julian. Holy shit. There's a large hostile inbound. Look out! I got this. Kind of a big deal now. Try using your wingman skill. It's a powerful weapon in a pinch, but you can only use it a few times. Where's, how do I use it? Wisely. X? Thought I already used it. Oh god, now I'm wasting it. A good wingman can mean the difference between life and death out in the wild. Well, that was so helpful, training. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I beat you, man, again. Come on, guys. High five here. Let's go, son. He shit, man. He shit. We you know what? Nice job. See, we good in the hood, you know? We good in the hood. You know what I'm saying, Charlie? You know what I'm saying, homie? Alright boys, that's going to do it for episode 2 here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to stay tuned. We have daily episodes here on the channel. Um, we're going to do the other missions here. We're going to have a good go at them. So tune to episode 3. 
to see Lake West, and we're going to do Underground Lake in the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Excel, Excel, Excel. Peace.